Hi again, fellow unlicensed thinkers. Today I want to do a little bit of a compendium to the video I did about a week ago that was about environmentalism from a different perspective. And today the question is, what if Mother Earth is aware of her own mortality? But before we do that, if you could hit the like button for me, it helps me out in the algorithm and I like being seen by more people. All right, thank you very much. So what if part of loving the earth is accepting that we are what she needs us to be, as in she created us to be a certain thing. And that means even the things that we think of as negative or destructive or violent, what if those are the things that Mother Earth needs us to be because she is aware of her own mortality? The Earth is 4.5 billion years old, and there's about another billion years before the sun enlarges and encapsulates or consumes the Earth. That, in comparison to a human lifespan, let's say we live 80 years, that makes the Earth about 65 years old. That means in human terms, the Earth has about 15 years left. So the Earth is past its middle age. And as a conscious being, if we're going to accept that it is a conscious being, then middle age is when you become aware of your own mortality. And the Earth has gone past that. The Earth has gone beyond middle age and is now seeing its death coming, seeing the end of its time in this universe and it says well wait a minute I need something to carry on my life I haven't as a planet kind of reproduction would be a little bit different so the earth says well I haven't been able to reproduce I haven't been able to send my young out into the universe to continue my species so to speak to continue my life my genes whatever it might be so in order for the Earth to do this, it needs to create something with certain traits. And let's say the, that Mother Earth is in motorcycle outside. I don't know if you guys are catching that very loud. But <laughs> Mother Earth, she's sitting there and she's saying, okay, what, what traits do I need to imbue uh, my, my offspring with? What do they need in order to go on to the stars, to go on to other planets and continue my existence? Because my personal existence will end, but I want my existence to continue through these things that I have created. Now, I'm going to come up with a list and say, okay, it's Mother Earth. That's who I'm playing right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> gonna say what do I need um, okay intelligence definitely so we need to create intelligence we need to somehow um, adapt intelligence into these things and imbue them with this intelligence they need to be adaptable they need to be able to survive in many environments to make those environments their home to do what they need to do to those environments in order for those environments to become their home. They need to have all of these traits. They need to be adventurous. Oh, those all sound good until we get into what we consider a lot of negative traits, but they aren't necessarily negative. It's just a view of them as negative. If we think about it from Mother Earth's perspective and Mother Earth wanting to continue her genetic line, then they aren't really that negative. We are, in fact, acting in service of Mother Earth and her desires and her plans. So again, as Mother Earth, I'm saying, well, what else do I need? What else are these seeds of mine going to need to go out somewhere else? That are definitely adventurous and definitely intelligent because they need to get out there. They need to have a desire to get out there. Oh, maybe they need to be imbued with a desire to conquer and colonize because that's what it would take 
in order to have this this desire to go to another planet, another solar system, and make it our own, to terraform it, to change it, to um, make it what we need it to be as opposed to what it is. We need to have these traits of conquering. We need to have these traits of colonizing and taking over and being somewhat destructive in order to fill the need of our survival because our survival is the survival of Mother Earth. So Mother Earth says, well, they're going to need this. They're going to need to get out there and they're going to need to take over. So I'm going to give them a desire to do this. And Mother Earth says, this, this gift I am giving to you so that you can go out and you can survive and you can carry on the life that I have started here. You can be my children, my seeds that go out into the universe. But without that, you're not going to do that. You're not going to go out into the universe. You're not going to think to terraform another planet. You're not going to think to colonize another planet unless you already have these traits within you. So Mother Earth said, we need to give this to them. Mother Earth says, in order to give you a lot of these traits, I sometimes have to be a mean mom. I have to give you harsh environments. I have to give you changing environments. So something might be a desert one time, an ocean another time, a forest one time. I need these environments to change because I need you to adapt. I need you to have a desire to move on, to survive. And so I might move the animals I might cause you to run out of a certain type of animal that you've been eating for a long time. I might cause those animals to die off or just leave and go to a different area. Then you go with them. You find other animals that become your, your food. You find other plants that become your food as those go extinct. These are all traits. These are all things that you need to survive when you get go to other planets to carry the life that Mother Earth created, to take that into the stars, you need all of these traits, you need all of these abilities. So Mother Earth needs to be a bit harsh in making you chase resources so that you become good at chasing resources. You become good at conquering, you become good at taking over, you become good at maybe destroying for your own needs, but then figuring out how to adapt to that destruction. So you are constantly adaptable, constantly intelligent, always figuring out new ways to survive. And that's what's going to help you when you go to another planet. And Mother Earth also says, I could make everyone peaceful, but then they won't have any desire to go anywhere. If I make them peaceful, they will die off either because others will come in that are not peaceful and conquer them and kill them, or because they simply don't do anything. They're too peaceful, they're too docile. And if they're too peaceful and docile, they're not going to leave. They're not going to conquer other planets. They're not going to take the life that I created as Mother Earth and send it off into the stars. And my buddy here is being very insistent on having my lap today. <laughs> so, Another thing Mother Earth does is says, well, I have to sacrifice some of myself in order to provide this and instill this in my offspring. I need to sacrifice some of my health, just like a mother does. I need to cause myself these health issues that come along with maybe being pregnant and raising a child and giving that child the tools that it needs. I have to accept that I might not eat, that I might sacrifice some of that health of mine in order to provide for these youth, in order to teach them something, in order to give them the tools that they need. So what I'm saying is what we see as negative traits, what we see as violent, destructive, these colonizing, these, you know, um, maybe warlike traits, they're not necessarily bad. 
if you look at it from the view of a larger consciousness of something like Mother Earth, who knows her time is coming to an end, then you start to see that these traits are actually beneficial, desirable, intentional. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Be sure to hit like and share the video. Have a great day. Oh buddy, you're so cute.